I, I forgot the transition, sorry. I get to do that right now. Okay, and I got to take the tape off again. Hi, um, it's me, your friendly neighborhood alien, Hikaru Star. And I am back. Take a couple of days off um, after last week, which was a week. It, it definitely, definitely was a week. Um, so you know, yeah. So, so so I can catch you up on last week. Um, I did my Skyrim stream uh, last Monday. I have fun. Actually, you know what? Let's go back farther. So. I do a hand cam stream where I make a cosplay version of my head. That way I could have it around for like um, cons and stuff, you know? It'd be something fun to wear. And I had an outfit planned and all this stuff. And I make the head. And I'm thinking, okay, I'll wear it when we go to the um, local Comic Con. It's like about an hour, hour and a half drive away. So not far. Um, and then, you know, life happens, and the con kind of slips the mind, and, um, you know, we might not even be going anyways, you know, me and my partner, my partner and I, I guess, proper grammar here, um, but, you know, we probably, we, we might not be going, you know, and that's fine, so, I put off making the outfit. Thinking that we're probably not going to be going. And the con slips my mind after that. And then... Well... I stream on Monday. Last Monday. Play Skyrim. I have my schedule all made up. You know, no plans to go to the con. You know, full, 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 full normal schedule, you know? And then I find out we're going to the con. After I stream. After my schedule's up. I don't have an outfit. I don't have an outfit. Ah! I panic. You know, I'm just like... My, my brain's like... Ah! And I, um... Freak out a little bit, you know? So I was like, I gotta rush. So I canceled the, the the Wednesday stream I had planned, and I canceled the Sunday stream because that's the day we're going. And I get to work on making an outfit, and I start burning the candle at both ends. So I'm exhausted by Thursday because I still want to stream Marcus. So I'm like beat Thursday. So I had like no energy to to, to finish. I could probably have gotten through at least the main story of the Arceus last week, but. Well, to be honest, I had no energy because I was making my outfit. And I, I made an outfit. I, I had an outfit made. I was doing the, the finishing touches. And, you know, all, all I needed was the shoes. So Friday, my partner and I, we go shopping. And the intention was, you know, we'll, we'll go and we'll go hit like some craft stores and stuff and find some shoes. Hopefully. And, like, I'll, I'll just have some shoes I can wear. Something gender something gender neutral, you know? And we decided to make a day of it, you know? We, we meet some friends in town. We go to the craft stores. Do some craft shopping, you know. Um, um, while we're waiting for our friends, we hit uh, Goodwill. Or, not Goodwill, Marshalls. And there, I find them. Not the shoes I was looking for. No. Shiny silver pants. Shiny silver pants. And they fit. I have shiny silver pants. I have an output plant. But now, I have shiny silver pants. A whole new outfit idea. So... After that, we, 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 we go to the fabric store, and I pick up this, like, holographic, shiny, like, fabric, and it's really nice. It's really lovely. I, I pick up, like, a yard of it, because I gotta make a top. I have a pattern. I have, I have a pattern for a top. 
And I also looking for shoes. I couldn't find shoes there. I couldn't find shoes at there either, at Marshalls either. So I, I get I get my um shiny silver. So so, so I, I I get that fabric, and then go to GameStop where where I <clears throat> get myself a a giant sleeping score bunny. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed for giant, giant, giant score bunny. I love my giant score bunny. My giant score bunny is a sleepy score bunny. It's cute. Um, then we we'll go Goodwill. I'll try to look for some shoes there. Nothing. I get shoes, you know, when we go grocery shopping at one of the big bike stores. Because I just need some shoes, you know. But. I end up having to make a whole new outfit. So Friday after we get done shopping, it's like 5 o'clock by the time we get back. And we left at like 8 in the morning. So we were gone all day. I get home. And first thing I'm do is I, I, I get to the get to my pattern for my top. And I start making it out of shiny silver fabric. So I have something to go with my shiny silver pants. I also get a couple... um. A patches I can put on the top and, and stuff like that. And I paint my shoes because I I I, I have like a bright color and those are like a just a normal denim color. But yeah, I I end up I end up you know making a completely new outfit. I spend all Friday doing it. Sorry about this. Um. I spend all Friday doing this. Then I spend all Saturday. All Saturday making the outfit. I mean, just like I got, I, I, I'm, I'm seam ripping so I can make a pattern. And I get to a point where I get everything onto the fabric. And then I've been all Saturday making the outfit. Just so we can spend Sunday. At. Con. And all we're doing there is just walking around the you know, dealers and artist alley area. But I have my outfit, you know. I, I have my head. I have my outfit. Everything set up. My new outfit, at least. I put it on. I go around the con. I don't take any pictures because I do not have content brain. I am not thinking about making content. I mean, I, I kind of think about it a couple times because there's a couple photo booths. That I, I kind of want to go get a picture of me in my outfit, but I, I don't. So, I'm sorry. There's uh, no pictures of it at the, the event. Because um, I don't have content brain. And wander around. And it's fun. I mean, you know, we're not we're not going to any panels. It's really, it's a small local thing. It's, you know, there, there, there's some comic book artists and stuff. You know, and, and like a voice actress from Encanto. You know, it's it, it's not like a big thing, but we we go there and we have fun. Um, go wander around the dealer's room, artist area. I don't find anything in the dealer's area that I really want. Uh, you know, I'm I'm looking for like specific things, like you know, toys from some of my favorite anime, which are old school, which. You know, the ones that have anime stuff, they're not going to have old school stuff. I always look. Toys from my favorite sci-fi shows from when I was younger. No. They never have that stuff either. And then I go in the Artist Alley area. So I get some stuff from there. Not, 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 nothing, nothing really major. I get a, a, a tiny little score bunny plush. It, it, it's tiny. It's very cute. I like my score bunnies. What can I say? Uh, a, a, a pink ranger uh, pillowcase, which I am using right now in my chair. For, for my for my back pillow. I'm not going to use it as a pillowcase on my bed. Because I, I, I don't, I don't want to use it on my bed. I don't want to get my, my head sweat and, and my drool on it. Um... And, well, 
You know my horror host alt, um, Pumpkin Friend, or Friendly Neighborhood Pumpkin? Um, the inspiration was a pin I got last, or not a pin last year, um, a little, let me like, grab it here. You're not going to see it, but I'm grabbing it. Uh, it's a little charm I got last year. It's really cool. I really love it. I love the character. It's a pumpkin-headed guy, you know? And that's the inspiration for, you know, for, 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 for my pumpkin friend. And I make sure to look around for that artist. So I can get credit. Because last year I didn't get credit. I, I, I couldn't get credit when I, I wanted, when I did this. So um, that is Life of Mr. Pumpkin. The artist is Miss Chibi Artist. But Life of Mr. Pumpkin. Um, and it's, they have an Instagram. I, I subscribe to it. I, I may try. I'm not subscribed, but followed. Follow the Instagram of Life of Mr. Pumpkin. So, I just wanted to make sure I had that. So, yeah. And I got myself a beanie with, with, with the pumpkin on it. Because I want I wanted something from that artist. I want to support that artist. I love, the, I love that character. I had fun. It was fun. Didn't get any pictures, though. A lot of people liked it. The, liked the costume, though. Um, I awkwardly answered a question about it. So, I'm doing better socially... I don't have any problems out in the real world. Nope. I have no problem socializing whatsoever. What are you talking about? So that was the weekend. And these last couple of days, it's just been rest. Just rest. I, I've been playing The Sims the last couple of days, I think. Just because I don't want to do anything. My brain's like blah, fried. My body's fried from last week. That's why I'm still taking the rest of the week off after this one. I, I I wanted to stream this week because I know me. And if I stop doing something for a little bit, I'll stop doing it. So I, I'm worried about taking like a week off, a full week off from doing this. And then just not coming back to it afterwards. Because... I just get myself back into a, you know, a habit of not doing stuff like this. So I decided I'm going to, I'm, I'm just going to focus you know, or at least, you know, I had a stream at least once a week. But that's what today is. That's, that's today's stream. Also, I, I might stream another, you know, during the week, might not. I don't know. I left those days open in case I wanted to. Last couple of days, I haven't wanted to. I just kind of wanted to zone out, play some Sims. And now I got to do some like catch up from last week and all the sewing I did, but but I did clean up after my sewing this week, finally. I don't want to see. I don't. I don't want to touch my sewing machine for a few days. I I know that much. I spent a lot of time at that sewing machine. So now we're gonna play Arceus. Let's go. Okay, there we go. We're in. Arceus. Let me just get to my... Okay. So... Last time... You know, previously on uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus... I defeated the last of the lords. Uh, came back to Jubil Jubilife Village. Was like, oh yeah, man, this is awesome. Woo! And... Uh, I, I, I get some potato mochi... And I, I go to sleep, and I wake up to uh, a big boom. A very big boom. I'm putting this stuff back. Um, and. That happened. Sky like that. Red skies, wave of antimatter coming bearing down on us. It's the crisis on infinite Earth, and we're one of the Earths that's going to get hit. You know, so of course, you know, I, 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 I go over here, and, and I go over here, and the commander's like, Hey, hey, it's your fault. You came from the sky. It must be your fault. And, and then... Then I get booted. I get booted out of the village. So. 
Um, um, so, so I have to, you know, I can't see it in the map. But I, I have, I, I get kicked out. I get kicked out of the village. And then I have to go find, um, you know, I get some help. I manage to get some help. And I, I go into these caves and, and fight into these little challenges to get little pieces of things to make a red chain that should bind the world back together. As you do. And I do all that. No, 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 no problem with that. You know, I, 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 I do all that. I, I save the village. You know, do all that. Get the chain. And then I find out, um, the commander, commander, um, mustache man, um, commander Kamado, um, he's off, you know, he decides he's got to deal with it himself, because I'm not, I'm not pulling my way after being kicked out and left on my own, with no support, no help, because, because the commander's a jerk face. He is, he, he's a jerk face. Yeah, you know, I, I have no support, no help, so, so we have to go back here. And we, ha we have to tell the, the, the person who's been left in charge, um, the, the commander, you know, the captain of the Survey Corps, that, um, you know, we, we can do this, but, um, you know, we, we need to, you know, and then she's like, okay, you gotta go stop Kamado because he's, um, being a dick. And, um, 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 go, go, you know, went out and, um, decided to be a dick. And he's gonna go face, face the Pokemon in there by himself. And, and, so I need to go up there. I need to bind the world together. Because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a child. And, uh, you know, in the Pokemon universe, only, uh, children can do things. So, that's what I'm gonna be going to go do. I'm gonna go up to um, the, the mountain, Mount Coronet. With my Pokemon. I'm gonna go fight the captain. And, um. Yeah. That's the plan. So I'm gonna go do that now. Once I get to the end of this um, thing. I just wanted to run, so I'm not too worried about saving. Did you find the commander, Hakaru? The commander is already at Mount Coronet. Already? How could a grown man like Commander Kamado be so reckless, especially with a mustache like that? First expelling you, Hakaru. And now this. I think he needs a stern talking to. As leader of the Pearl Clan, loyal to Almighty Sinnoh, who reigns over all space and time and space, I can go anywhere in Vastusui that I please, and now I'm going to go stop the commander. Hmph. Who is the reckless one? We are. Jarl are. Hey, you got run out of the village, right? You still tried to find a way to help us all. Yeah, because the game told me to. Otherwise, I would find allies and I would have gone to war with you. Mm -hmm. That's right. Hikaru worked hard to get that red chain to help everybody. Too right. And a fine job she did too. The Survey Corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village. As well as for the sake of their, our relations with Pokemon. Thanks, here, take this. Don't go alone. Ah, ah crap. Ah, crap. Max revive. Ah, crap, this is serious. I need a recipe for that. Your orders are three. One. Make for the summit camp and from there, the Temple of Sinnoh. 
Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. And three, return here. Alive. Or at least intact. Oh, you're not going to do anything, Ray. Only I'm going to do stuff. Because I am the protagonist of a video game. Only I can do stuff. He's up to something. I heard the latest. So you've been accepted back into the galaxy team, have you? That's about congratulations are in order. Here, some max potions for... Send help. Send help, please. I'm going to need a max potions and the max revive. Oh, joy. I can do this. It looks like the big moment is upon us at last. But no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adaman and Arita have headed up to the peak as well. My good friend Hikaru, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal cousins. I haven't bought anything from you guys yet. It seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I think I'll set up shop closer to the temple itself. Dangerous to go alone. Here, take this. Now what? Ah, oh, things have certainly gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the Great Melly will be here, for moral support at least. Oh, great. I gotta deal with him too. Okay. okay, up to the summit camp, huh? Uh, let me take a look at the map. Okay, so I can I can do that. Hey, you better get in this Pokeball. You better. I'm not a move. Is that all you're gonna do? Super effective. Nope. Okay. Oh, you got a move that'll actually work? So do I. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna fly this. Come on. Okay, which way? Swing?
figure if I fly... where I started. Just in case. Actually, no, just in case. Oh, that's, uh, Chunk of iron. Okay, looks like I gotta fight somebody. So, wrong button. Hope I can choose my Pokemon. Excuse me for a second, I've been invaded. Let me go deal with the invasion. Okay, come on. Come in, Yandy, come in. Come close my door. You can hang out here. But I gotta close the door. Okay? Okay. You can hang out in here. Sorry. I'm one of the strange creatures that lives here. Oh ho! Still alive and kicking, eh? Sorry about having to shut of the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled pot- Is that the only thing you serve? But that taskmaster Kamado's gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put these old bones to work. When I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time we got rid of you is once and for all. Is it because I'm tired of potato mochi? Well, I am. I am. I'm gonna kick your butt now. I'll make myself plain. As Kamado's right hand, I'm charged with executing all the gritty deeds Kamado can't or won't do himself. Given my word, I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting the way of his plans. And besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home free of fear and strife. His dream is mine now, too. You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you meant to use them. When I heard you mention the Quillus nobles, one after another, oh, did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound. At last, at last. One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that I've been left to molder all these long years. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch out Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, you don't have any moves that'll work. Okay, hypnosis, huh? Yeah, I got this. Okay. Oh! I'm not too worried, I'm not too worried. I, I got multiple Pokemon. I have multiple Pokemon, and... Ah, uh, let's see here. I don't think I have anything really, uh... 
I have this. This is all I oh, I didn't give you new moves. That's fine. That's fine. You only have two more Pokemon. I think I'm good. That's fine. Okay. Okay, so who should I do next? This is gonna be easy. Yes, I'm using my fire type. Oh, a max potion, huh? Not very effective. How many max potions you got? I got multiple Pokemon, man. Okay. You sure you wanted to do that? I got multiple Pokemon. I got more Pokemon than you do. Okay. You know what? Nah, not yet. Okay. Rose on me. Don't worry, Sylveon. You'll be back soon. Float soul. Just got the most hit points. You do, but that's psychic. So, Float soul, you're going up. And you're the last Pokemon, so I don't really don't need to be super effective. Let's just, uh... Get a little water. <laughs> I was prepared. It seems my ninja techniques will soon be consigned to history. Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. I might actually like you, after a fashion. I mean, at least you eat my food, unlike some others. At least for the skill you show in battle. But listen well, Hikaru. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by maddened Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to Isui to try to build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. If, hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within that space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself. By force, if you must. So can I hit him with a frying pan? Can I borrow a frying pan? I want to hit him with a frying pan. I want to I wanna hit him, like, right in the head with a frying pan. I, I don't want to throw a Pokemon at him. I want to throw a frying pan at him. Good cast iron. What the good... Boom! Bonk! I might knock some sense into him. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach. Oh, 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 oh now he's threatening me! 
threatening me. He is threatening me. I, I, I don't deal well with threats. I don't. I don't. Nope. Okay. Time to revive everybody. Uh, okay, oh, there's my revives. I only got one max revive. Oh, everybody's revived. Okay. So I saw an iron chunk over here. I'm not having to fight Pokemon right now. I'm 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 okay just you know grabbing some iron chunks. Okay, so I got to get up to there. I'm saving. I just keep using the map button to save. I, I got to show the, the, the Mr. Pumpkin stuff too afterwards. I mean, you can get a sense of the character. Okay, everything's ready. Whoops. We got this. We got this. Okay, good. Okay. Sylveon. You are champion. Throw in. I'm going to replace tackle with that. Um. Okay. Just in case. Okay. Time to save. Wrong button. Wrong button. Okay. You better take care. Take that red train up to the top of the mountain. That Pokemon threatening to descend on the peak any moment now. I think it may be Almighty Sinnoh. But all this has to be stopped, and you're the only one who can do it. Almighty Sim Sinnoh seems to be near here. But still, the commander obstructs us. He is stern talking to it. Smack upside the head with a cast iron skillet. That's what I say. Okay. I think everybody's around, alive. So time to go face the commander. I was looking for you. Okay, some moves learned. I need to learn some moves, and you kept my move learner away from me. That's it, mustache man. You mind you again? I heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea. But can I truly put my faith in such tales? Dude, trust me. This is voice now. Commander, please be reasonable. I understand that you're bound to protect your people as commander of the galaxy team. I have the same duty to my clan. But doubting a coward like this, you're not just wrong, but you're a fool. Eh, perhaps you're right, probably not. But I were to simply place my faith in this girl, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? You may think you're the only one desperate to protect the people of Jubilife, but you're not. Hikaru is putting her life on the line here as well. Fuck! 
Fine. Enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon, Hikaru. Today we battle in earnest. Goes to camp. Okay. I gotta have like single buttons to do this. I just don't know how to yet. Oh, really? Oh, really? Let's go to add fire. Mm. No, I want... Look at you being too strong. No, I totally did not look this up to find out which moves would be super effective. Oh, you think you have me beat, huh? I got the champion of all champions. You know what? I'm gonna go right with this one. I have a full team, man. You're not going to defeat me. Okay, who do I have? Take a while, but I didn't have a move there. Oh, you don't think I'm? I, I don't have other Pokemon. I don't think I, I I don't have other Pokemon. Hmm. Let's go with some um, lightning. Let's uh, 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 let let's uh, lighten up its light here. Lighten up its mood. Lighten up the mood. Oh good, my accuracy's up. Come on. Now I might need you later. I'm gonna paralyze this little um, pain butt. Still, I'm gonna use some fang. I'm gonna stay with strong style right now because Well, strong. Oh, I already uh know who I'm 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 putting out. Sorry, Luxe. I already know who I'm putting out. My team. Okay. 
You weren't paying attention to, how, to who I put on my team, were you? Nope, no, you decided you were the best one, mustache man. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's his voice now. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. I have six Pokemon. Hakaru, the fates have decided. I concede. And I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander Kamado. I know I have no right to ask you, ask it of you any longer, but please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No, for the sake of the Celestica people and all the Pokemon living in the Sui. Don't you worry, Commander. We got the red chain. Yes, we do. I'm ringing out of the belt. Can't you tell? Okay. Okay. Oh, crap. I forgot what the... Oh my goodness. Look how big and fluffy you are. Yes, you are. You're my Sylveon. You're my little Sylveon friend. You are the best Sylveon. Best Sylveon. Okay. okay. Everybody up and uh, running. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. I got this. 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 I I I got this. I got this. I got this. I was just here. I was I was Zizu. I I was just here. No, the commander's down there. Okay. Wrong button. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Come on, now's the time. Use the red chain. Wait, what is this? It's a voice in my head. No, in my heart. It's speaking to me. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then. Whoa, Rita, you hear what you? Did you hear what you're saying? Catch you? Almighty Sino, I think Almighty Sino may be speaking to me. Telling me, you, or you hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, for the fight to come. Take these. I got, I got ultra balls. We got this. <sighs> Sneak up on you and just throw it, throw, 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 throw an ultra ball from behind. I want to do it that way. Go, Typhlosion. Uh, 
Okay, good job. Okay, I need. I, I know. I have a Pokemon that I can use against this. Okay. Okay, buddy. Not your fight. I already tried using Hydro Pump on you. Okay. Um, definitely. You know, I'm gonna try to catch it though. I gotta try to catch it. Okay. Yeah, throw an ultra ball. You're gonna keep using Aqua Tail, huh? Well, let's swap you out for a water type. Okay. Got my max revive. Just the unsafe side. Sylvia, you're my backup. Okay. Oh, we're going to... Let's need Swift. Okay. I need a cat. Okay, my champ. You're up. I need something with some hit points here. Come on, muscle buddy. We got this. We got this. We got this. No, we don't. Let's add our style here. Figure not very effective. No. I, I'm one of these days I'll figure out these controls. I will get them memorized. I will have muscle memory. There we go. I cut a Palkia. Got the Belkia. Yeah. This one's not was not nearly as stressful. She caught it, right? She caught all my to know. Her chain's been shattered, but we still got the Pokemon of the lakes to thank for getting it this far. Well done, Hikaru, my girl masterfully handled. I was watching the whole time you battled and caught your way of to a simply stunning victory. You truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. It's all because she had me to show her the ropes when she first got here. Ah, I can hear Almighty No, Sino, no. It's it's called Palkia. Mighty Palkia is speaking to me in my mind. Space time grows chaotic. The power fails. The frenzied one. It comes now to fight. That is why I'm here. You're telling me that there's another one? But the red chain smashed to bits. No way even Hikaru could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that last one now. Oh, you want a bet? Mm. Ah, crap. Uh, 
Okay, we got this. We got this. Got this. I got this. Good, you go, boy, boy. That's a simple one. I love you. You must vacate this. Ah, God, forget the fancy talk. Book it. Come on. We gotta make it back to summit camp while we still can. We need to leave before this other almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us. Commander. You can't just leave it here. You dunce! You won't be a yes to anybody if you die up here on this dear mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone! I'm gonna fight. I could fight it. I got the Pokemons. Such dreadful power. I don't, I totally am not using the internet to look up walkthroughs to be able to fight these guys, so, so, so I'm prepared. Such dreadful power. It's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. What means you even manage to stand on your feet before it, Hikaru? Did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seems likely that a buildup of the same energy was what caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. So our two clans were truly following different Almighty Sinnoh. But both were real. What a shocking turn of events! To say nothing of the shock of hearing the commander speak so differently, you dunce. I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. To the both of you as well, as fellow leaders. You saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Hikaru, dearie. Eh? Now I kind of want to give him, the, the, give him, the, give him a, a, a UP accent. Uh, Michigan's Upper Peninsula. A, 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 a UP, dearie. Eh? And to you, Hikaru, dearie. Eh? I'm, I'm okay, I'm not going to do that anymore. I acted on ill considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. And despite all that, you still strove to save all of his sui. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space time rift. As we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. There, eh? Commander, might I, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We left things in quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell on the past, huh? Just what I expect from a real scientist, unlike the fake ones that are made out of sticks and clay. That I call Bob. He does all my science work for me. A dependable attitude indeed. Yes. Let us move on. No need to speak of any further about my rash actions, not to mention my loss of composure, dear, eh? It seems that having Hikaru has about has been a, been a good influence on all. That's only natural. Hikaru is strong enough to defeat even this new opponent single-handedly. Whoa, whoa, so dumb. Forget that the red chain broke. We'll be alright, armed with the knowledge mighty Palkia imparted it to me. Palkia, the Pokemon that talked to you? Yes, it told me its name. And that's not all. It also told me this. The stone of creation's beginning. The chain of red. The vessel of humankind's invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now disturbing the flow of time. And then mighty Palkia must go with us back to the temple, it said. Well, that chain of red is in pieces now, but if little bits will do, I gather those. If the vessel of humankind's invention, I dare say that might refer to a Pokeball. I'm gonna get a Master Ball. It's gotta be it. But what about that Stone of Creation's beginning part? Oh, well, obviously it's where, um, the red, red chain was forged, I, I would bet. Yeah, that's my guess. Lian might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? Uh, then Ward and Leon will be a fine resource to consult. What are your thoughts, Professor Laventon? 
Do you have any idea what this stone could be? Where we forged the red chain. Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. Hi, Cairo, my girl. Can you tell me those plates you received from Wydir and the others? The ones that Volo said had messages engraved upon them. Ah, just as I remembered. Here in the back of the earth place, it says, when the universe was created, its shards became the plate. I think this may be a hint of what we need. How do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Leon might know just where to find such a thing. As he said, he'd been investigating at Volo's urging. Now that you mention it, that Volo fellow has uh, come around the diamond settlement asking about those plates before, too. It seems like a lead worth following Volo's up to something. Indeed, it's decided then. Thus begins our search, the stone of creation's beginning. Though the name is rather mouthful. What do you say? I suppose we call it... Sorry. Rita, may we ask for your ad eight plans aid once more, dearie? Of course! I'll call Leon to the summit camp at once. Cutscene. I, I want to get out of the cutscene. I get... I waited as long as anyone could possibly expect, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor you all with an unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. Now, Adaman, I see all these other louts have their little tasks to get on with. But what of the great melee? What's, where's my role in all this? I mean, Lady Melly, so a shred of respect, would ya? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader, Adaman. And, to ma and make it a good one. You want a job, fine? Your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the people of our clan from panicking. Take a hint. Oh, Adaman, oh, oh, you Silly foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work they are suited to and work they are not. Oh, and uh, before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grant. <sighs> well done, you. No, you, you won't be my boyfriend. Sorry. Just take this as a reward for your adorable efforts. Just my way of encouraging to little people. And you're all so little compared to me. You know, when they say they're big, they're really, really tiny. They got really tiny, um. Well, you know. Oh, candy truffles. Lovely. I brought Leon. Yeesh, that ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. <sighs> I should be the one consulted for my... Can I use my braviary? Can, can, can I use, can I use the, the braviary and just fly him up high up into the sky and just drop him on his head? Sui's ores and stones are her precious resource. And since I was the first to realize that, in fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleavor in battle. With that bumbling ball of yours. Excuse me? That bumbling ball is more than capable of stepping both of you and that ugly bug of yours back. All the way to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? Melly, give it a rest and play nice with the Pearl Clan folks for once, would ya? Bigger things are at stake here. Like the freaking world, you moron. 
but other man. We went back home and all worked up because the poor clan got to speak to Almighty Sino or Palkia or whatever. You want them to hug all the glory? Warden Leon, if you would. Certainly. Can somebody stuff the sack in Melee's mouth, please? Just stuff a sack in there. Sack. Sack. I said sack! Get your head out of the gutters. Then let us set out at once as we make for the primeval grotto. Wherever that is. Okay. Okay. That way. I'm focusing on the story right now, so... I'll come back when I'm ready. Here somewhere. Yeah, it looks like it's must be down there then, okay. <laughs> Helping it wasn't, but gotta be like a cave or something. Oh there we go, there's the cave. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind me, I am just going in the cave. Don't mind me, I am just going... Over here. What a curious cave! I feel some extraordinary power here. As if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Leon? Well, taking into consideration my knowledge of ores, my skill at mining, and the strength of my Sligo's moves. I think you better leave any extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? We go right ahead. I, I, I don't want to dirty my hand. We're going to have to ask you to stop right there. Now oh, them. Oh, come on. Who's there? We don't have time to waste with oh, them. Clover, we haven't seen you since you walked out on the clan. Where have you been all this time? <laughs> I don't tell you nothing. Look, you can carry on digging out that treasury after, and then you'll give it to us. I don't know why you look surprised. It's not as if you were hard to follow. What we seek is maybe as precious as treasure, but this isn't about how valuable it is. We need it to restore that the uh, this awful sky to normal. <laughs> Ugh. That earnest goody two shoes act of yours is what made me leave the Pearl Clan in the first place. Enough. I don't care why any of you ran off to play Bandit. But I won't let you get in Leon's way. There are three of you and three of us. Let's go, Hikaru. You take charm. I am charm. I'm very charming. Not at all awkward. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I am the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Especially in this, the battle of a lifetime. So, Survey Corps versus Survey Corps. You only got two. Yeah, I haven't mastered this move yet. But I'm not too worried. Uh, 
You want to fight? You got one. See, yeah, I, I, I got this. Gengar, go. You really don't want to do this. You really don't want to do this. Hmm. Just be on the safe side. I don't know if it's gonna work, but probably not. Yeah. I was hoping. I don't want to swap out and um. Sorry. I got good moves. Well, you are rather formidable. I should have brought Melly here. He could have fought him. I could have watched him get his ass kicked. Come on, Clover. Why not come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing. We're changing. We could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I've got no interest in living back in that place with all its stupid rules. Look, we'll let you keep your treasure this time. But you better do something about that sky. You're strong as ever, Hikaru. Maybe you, re you really can do something about that monstrous creature on the top of the mountain. But even if you do, the next time you meet, you won't escape without a beating. Remember that. Losers. Honestly, those threes. What did they even come here for? Oh well, I'll heal up everyone's Pokemon. That coin, the coin that I remember, never hesitated to help someone in need. And if she grousesly did. So, I suspect it may have been more worried about us. Perhaps even wanting to help. Then they said I should, they... Then they should have just said so. What a pain they are, hiding behind all that attitude. Yay, it's the go! I was able to extract some of that, uh, origin ore? Or whatever it is you wish to call it. I suppose it had better go with you, Hikaru. And now my Master Ball. Okay. So it wasn't the rock there. That was surprisingly easy. No, you simply failed to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my hard work, honestly. I knew we could count on you, Leon. No wonder Cleavor recognizes you as a worthy warden. Let's hurry back to Mr. Professor and show him what we got. I am not returning back to your professor you made out of sticks and mud. Let's go back to Professor Laventon. That Laventon's got sound judgment plus knowledge to spare despite his silly streak. Okay. No offense, but I don't have one of you guys. Aha! Uh -huh. I caught a nose. Now I'm just gonna get... Up and out.
Whoops. Wrong one. That way. Why run when I can fly, huh? Okay. I am going to take a brief break here. I got stuff to put um, in the fridge. I, 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 I had lunch like right before this and I want to put my leftovers in the fridge. So um, I'm, I'm going to take a brief break and I will be back in a um, moment or two. So I'll uh, see you on the flip side. I thought wearing flowers and chewing. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Okay. Now. Uh, here you go. So this is the stone of creation's beginning, the origin or mm, yes. One can certainly feel an opposing aura emanating from it. Could this be the feeling of very origin itself? I've been meaning to ask since you brought that up, but the origin of what exactly? Of everything by the sound of it. Exactly, my girl. Now then, back we go to Jubilee Village. Sorry, I want to. I, I figured before it made some amount of cutscenes. All right, Mr. Professor. It's all in pieces now, but this is what's left of the red chain. Splendid. Even in pieces, I think we'll find it still perfectly fit for the purpose. We're jolly lucky you had the foresight to pick up these broken bits back at the temple. Yep, next, Hikaru. Time for, uh, whatever you're calling that stone. Fred. I'm calling it Fred. Or you hand it over Fred. Fragments of the Red Chain, collected at the great personal risk by the Diamond Clan. And the Stone of Creation's beginning, which we only learned of thanks to the Pearl Clan. Now it's time for the Galaxy team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. Ray, my boy, you're one of the team's greatest craftspeople. Could I ask you to do the honors? Heh, <laughs> just wait, Hikaru. You'll finally see what I'm truly capable of. This may take us some time. Perhaps the rest of you had best wait outside while we work. Exactly. Come on, Mr. Professor. I'd wish I hurry I wish I'd hurry up in there. I really have to use the bathroom. Oh yeah. I don't recommend taking uh putting on your costume in the bathroom stall. D don't do it. If you're gonna do that, uh, do it on a handicap stall if you can. I I, I couldn't put my, co my my outfit on in um I wasn't gonna sit, you know an hour and a half in it in a car. And eat breakfast with it on, so no, yeah. because we stopped for breakfast the way. Um, so so I had to put it on the bathroom stall, and uh, the 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 handicap stall was unavailable, so I had to put it on a, in a regular stall, and the toilet had automatic sensors, and it kept flushing. Sorry, I'm starting to suspect all your prattling about the value of time as a cover for your own impatience. If sitting back and waiting actually solved things, I'd sit forever. Because then I'd be using time as well, unlike this. Hmm. 
We've done it, Hikaru. It's complete. I dub it the Origin Ball. If the message conveyed to our good clan leader is, can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. I obtained a bastard. I or the origin an origin ball, a singular and irreplaceable Pokeball that can be used to catch the frenzy Pokemon raging at the Temple of Sinnoh. And these Poke your Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think the fate of all his suey could rest in something so tiny. Look, it's bigger than my head. It's almost as big as my eye. Oh. Yeah, let me, let me check. It's bigger than my eyes. What? It's almost as big as my head. It's not tiny. It's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of these things brings the two of you closer together. What, wait, please, I hear something. The voice is speaking to me in my mind again. You mean Palkia. Yes, it appears that mighty Palkia is willing to lend its own strength to us in this battle. Well, I caught it. Now that's what I like to hear. The Pro Clan's almighty Sinnoh. Well, I guess we sh I should just call it Palkia. It's one fierce Pokemon. I caught it. Everything is ready now, Hikaru. Take the origin ball and hurry back up to the Temple of Sinnoh together with Palkia. Not yet. Okay. Okay. I don't know what Pokemon to bring. I'm gonna go to the stable. Okay. I'm going to take a Palkia. Hmm. Okay, so chances are... What I'm going to be fighting is a dragon type, so I'm going to take this one. Definitely. Okay. Um. There we go. So, let's, um, I'm gonna keep my Machamp, um, Espeon, I'm gonna put you in the box temporarily for Palkia, okay? I hope you don't mind. Okay. Um... Palkia, you're going to go up top because... And I know I'm going to need you. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get back to camp. Now I'm going to see if I can learn any moves. See if I can learn any moves.
good. See you soon. Okay. New moves. throwing a couple ice on, on there, so. I'm going to throw ice punch on there. And... Ice beam. Just be on the safe side. Okay. Nothing else. Okay. I wanted to do that because I knew I would need it. Just in case. Madam. And here you are, lost one. Ready to face your fate at the top Mount Coronet. Seems a vicious battle might await you. I'm ready. I'm ready to die. Oh, well said. Now hearken to my words, young ones. Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. The, be the being you will encounter at the Temple of Sinnoh is Dialga, ruler of all time. If it is allowed to run wild, time itself will twist and bend here in Hisui, and eventually the very world may be broken. But you have the aid of its counterpart, Palkia, the ruler of space, and therein lies hope. Balance will be brought to space and time, and the world can once again be as it should. Now, take Palkia at your side and make for the Temple of Sinnoh at once. I must say, this is quite the intriguing village. Perhaps I'll have a look around before I go. See what your clothier has on offer. Excuse me, is this the time for shopping? It's always time for shopping. Well, I hardly have, I'll hardly have time for shopping at the world ends, will I, young man? Fair point. All right, Hikaru. Once you're ready, feel ready, set out. We make our way for the Temple of Senu once more. Senu, Senu, not Senu. Those are two completely different things. I was trying to, and then I got interrupted by a cutscene. Yes, I am heading that way. Summit camp. I'm just trying to complete this. I am at the end. Okay. That's a request. I can't just, you know, fly up there, walk up there. I 
I, can, I, I, I should be able to just, you know, walk up there. I mean, not, technically I am walking up there, I guess. Why should we just be able to walk up there? Okay, do I have anybody else to fight this time? Volo. Just the girl I've been waiting for. I know you can buy various sundries at the base camp, but I thought it might be helpful to you if I set up here closer to the temple. I'm, I want to have front row seats if there's a chance to see the world of myth and legend. I'll probably be creeping even closer to the action once the battle actually begins. But oh, you won't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. And besides, I know all too well the strength of you and your Pokemon. I've got no doubt you'll have this whole thing tied up in a neat bow before I could possibly be in any danger. He's up to something. Okay, I don't really need to buy anything. I mean, I'll get these iron chunks. Okay, Palkia. Oh, you know what? I didn't, um... Change moves. I want to get rid of the quick attack. Okay. Okay, good. No touching this time. I mean, tell you the catch. So long, they thought I did uh, that I had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Cubalite Village. Whether that meant banishing you or seeking to destroy the Pokemon of the temple, I felt it was my only path. But you showed me that I was wrong to think it's such a. Yeah, and if you destroyed the one that, you know, the ruler of space, well, we'd be dead. Are you ready for this challenge, recruit? Let's do it. I should have an autosave. Hikaru, in the in all of vast of in all of vast space, your place has found you. What in the world does that mean? It's a broken clan thing. Reminds us that occasion we must rise to our also stages where we might prove ourselves where we might shine our brightest. So basically you're saying not to feel nervous. Sorry to see the appeal of how you pearl clan people think. In some situations anyway. We will support you in whatever way we can, though I doubt you'll need it. Hikaru, protect Husui and her people. Protect time and space for her Pokemon. Okay, can I save? Can I save? Can I save? No? No? Can't save? At least I'm not having to throw bombs. Do I still have my Palkia? I don't think that was supposed to happen. Good, I have my Palkia. Now I can get my horsey. It's a horsey. It's a horsey. It, 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 it's, a, it's a horse. 
more of a centaur actually. But. More bombs, huh? Okay, that that Okay. We got this. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. I can handle this. Nope. Come on. Oh, come on. I dodged it. Oh, I didn't dodge it. Continue battle. Keep... No! Ah! Okay. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I know what I'm doing. Okay. That's too soon. That's too soon. Oh, come on! Give me a second to actually dodge! Okay. Why can't I just throw my Pokemon at it? I don't have to wear this sucker out, huh? I'm gonna try to get at least one down. I'm just gonna keep it. You know what? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wear it down slowly. I'm gonna use this to my advantage. Continue the battle. I'm gonna do it slowly. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this to my advantage. Hopefully. I'm just gonna keep throwing damn ball think bombs at it and just wear it down very slowly if I can. 
keep previous progress, please. I'm going to slowly watch this, too, so I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I did not look up strategies for, for, for Dialga. I'm trying to. Uh, fortunately, I was throwing my Pokeball at it. I didn't. Even, I, I wasn't even paying attention to that part of my screen. Continue battle. Keep previous progress. I'm going to remain calm. I'm in a meditative pose right now. I'm going to remain in a meditative pose. Okay. Okay. Let's see if some of her gauge. No, I can't. Okay. Okay. I got two down. That's my focus. I got two. So that means I'll have two when I recover. So I can do this. I got this. I got this. Keep previous progress. You know why they do that? You know, put this for the first one, the second, and the the, the, the the second one on the top. So, so you accidentally, you know, make the mistake I made. I want to stay on the outside here and just keep running. Okay, maybe not. to it. Okay. Okay, I got this. I got this. I can do this. I can do this. Nope, I can't. Okay. Come on, give me a little bit more time. I can do this. 
Okay. This is going to be the rest of the stream, I think. I'm doing it slowly. I'm doing it slowly. I'm keeping the tension low. I'm breathing. I'm relaxing. I'm not at all stressed out here. Nope, not at all. Yeah, I'm wrong way. I went the wrong way. I... No! I'm remaining calm. I am remaining calm. I am not remaining calm. Keep previous progress. Kind of wish I had like one of those. Just, I could do it even faster. I wish I could do it faster. Okay. I tried dodging. Oh, come on! Now I can't even barely dodge these things. Hey, okay, screw I'm just- I'm just throwing. Okay, I got down one more. I'm just going to keep throwing. I keep trying to do it properly, dodging and stuff. But I should continue battle. I should be down three bars. Keep previous progress. Do not fall into the trap of just repeating my actions. Almost. 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 I think I got it. I don't know if I got it or not. Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? I got it! Oh. Oh, I got it. What, no firework? No firework? No firework? I wonder if a firework. I want a little firework coming out the top of the origin ball. That would have been awesome. That would have been. What an awesome. She she caught it. She really did it, didn't she? My eyes aren't lying, right? She actually went and caught it? Ah yes, oh good show. What a catch. You contain that fearsome thing in the origin ball. Absolutely as stunning as ever, Kairu. Finally. 
just what I expect for a bipro- You've done jack squat, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. Yes, what a sight to have witnessed. Her rump. How rump, I would say. Ouch, what gives, Commander? I'm sure I deserve a sumo throw. Her rump. Well, at least this is, seems this is no dream. Her rump. Listen up, all of you. We face a calamity unlike any we have ever known, but we are able to overcome it by working to as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival for us all. Gather your clans. This will be the greatest celebration Hisui has ever seen. Celebrate with a diamond clan. Celebrate with a pearl clan. The two clans together. Huh. Well, it's, since it seems... It's, since it turns out we are following an all, true almighty Sinnoh of our own. I guess time... The times when we'd fight over whose was right, wrong, or right in our ancient history now. I'm sure our ancestors would shock to see us agree. But this may be, But this may well be the best path toward protecting the space we all share. <laughs> Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day for all those who live in the Hisui region. Can I have something other than potato mochi, please? I am tired of potato mochi. Whoops, that's a video. And we're done with the main storyline. I thought that would take longer. And we hit the credits! We hit the credits! Because music's going... I, I, I gotta do this. So, I think this will be it. For Pokemon Legends Arceus on the weekly. Now, um, I might end up um, playing it um, like every other week. Because... I still got a couple more Pokemon games to play. Um, sorry. I, I, my microphone's acting up, so I, I want to see if I can um, get things working again. But yes. This will be probably the last week of the regular... Um, regular settings for... Um, Pokemon Arceus. Uh... I'll probably end up starting playing um, Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet after this. So I should be able to, um, you know, do that. Uh, um, so I'll play Scarlet and Violet starting next week. And then I'll just, I'll go every other week because I still want to complete the Pokedex. And I know there's some, you know, post-game story stuff to do. There, there usually is. I still think Volo is up to something, so I'm going to go deal with that. But, for the most part, um, don't mind the green thing right there. That's just um, Marudo being weird. You can see that doesn't move with me. So it's not that. Um, but, um, yeah, so Scarlet and Violet next week. And I'm going to take the rest of the week over. I still got to... Um, Get like a short I have planned. Uh, maybe I'm probably not gonna do it now. I don't think so. But I gotta get uh, last week's video ready to be posted. Um, this week's VOD um, posted for this, and then I want to take a couple. And I still gotta get an episode of um, uh, Shocking Theater up and going. So I'm just gonna be taking some time. You know, take the rest of the week and do some of that, and pl probably play some Sims, just because I need something to do. I'm just waiting for Warudo right now. I'm just I'm just buying time for Warudo to um you know, not use up all my resources. Cause it's using up all my resources. Where's my beverage? Where's my beverage? I know it's right next to me on the screen, but no. I don't think I can get to it. I don't think I can get to it. 
Now my camera doesn't have that wide of an angle. But I'll be done, you know, but we're done. For the most part with Pokemon Legends Arceus. So next week, probably part Pokemon Violet. I don't think I have a save on um, a Violet on um, on this Switch. So I'm going to play some Pokemon Violet next week. Starting next week. I'm going back to school. So I got to make sure I got a score bunny um, in my um, boxes. There we go. Miss it. It was there for a second. You missed it. Sorry. Oh, my arc phone's beeping. My microphone is still taking it forever, so... Seek out all Pokemon. Yeah, I'm still gonna want to do the, um... Um, okay. I'm still going to do that stuff. Is more Rooter done yet? Oh, come on, I just want to fix my microphone. Screw it. I'm closing that. It's, it's taking up all my resources right now. So what do I have to do? I don't want to finish playing tonight. Okay. You know, actually, I'm not. I am going to call it done. So next time I play this in a couple weeks. Or actually, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Here is what I will do. Next week, I will play Arceus for about an hour beforehand. And then I'll play some Scarlet. No, next week I'm going to start Scarlet and Violet. Next week, so I'm going to start Scarlet and Violet by going back to school. So, until then, this has been Hikaru Star, your friendly neighborhood alien trapped on the third rock in the sun, saying, uh, see you on the flip side. Bye. <laughs>